Unfortunately, this is exactly why exactly why we do this. That's kind of a bummer. What's going on everybody? Hope you're doing well. Today is Christmas Eve and last night we had a pretty good size windstorm come through. So what I need to do right now is I need to get Blue, I need to saddle him up, and then we're gonna go check fence lines, make sure no trees are down on fence lines. I am also gonna use this opportunity to take our bird dog bow out, give him some work, let him run through some fields a little bit while we're running around. It's good to have a dog around every once in a while. I like getting that dog out and getting him some work. So I need to get Mr. Blue saddled. That way we can go check fence lines. got Mr. Blue saddled up. He's ready to roll. Now I need to walk inside and go get the dog. Hi buddy. You know some of y'all on this channel who are viewing this video right now may say, Barrett, isn't it easier just to get on the gator or get in the ranch jeep and go check everything real quick by, by vehicle? And, you know what, you're absolutely right. But to me, I'm a huge believer that everything needs a job. And so today my job is to go check everything, make sure that all the animals are good, make sure everything has stayed in, no trees have fallen on any fences. And Blue's job is to pack me around and be a good ranch horse. And Bo's job is to look for some birds. So I think everything needs a job. If that dog stays inside for too long and doesn't get as much exercise as he needs, he'll be a pill stay. Likewise, if Blue just stood in the pasture and stood in his turnout all the time, he'd be bored. He'd need something to do. All right. Almost. All right. And we are off. I got to pay attention to Bo a little bit right here because some of the exotics were hanging around this feeder right next to the house, and I want him getting... Hey! And I don't want him getting all mixed up in them. Beautiful, beautiful day. It's a little bit chillier. A little bit chillier than it was past couple days. Past couple days have been, shoot, in the 70s. And then right now it's about 41. So not too terribly chilly, but chillier than it was for sure. Come on. But we're gonna start on this uh, this corner right here by the house and just work our way down. And you know, this property is basically one big giant square. So I just start at one end and we go all the way around and it's a pretty good, pretty good trek for this dog and for this horse. So some much needed exercise. He's onto something for sure. He doesn't quite know where it's at or where it's coming from, but he's on to something. <whistles> Some of you might have noticed, but I do have this e-collar that I have on, on Bo, and uh, I usually have it just on vibrate because I don't typically use it a lot. <whistles> oh, here! Um, but I do keep it on me just in case for some reason, you know, a black buck or a, a white tail or something spooks up out of some of this brush and uh, takes off and he wants to kind of take off with him. <whistles> Here. Um, I like to have it with me and right now I've got it to like five, which I never hardly use it, but I have it on there so that if I do have to use it, that it's ready and, uh, and it'll stop him in a, in a hurry. I like to do everything just with voice commands um, that's something that when we're sitting in the yard, hip, 
I like to use the voice commands um, if at all possible for every scenario. Um, every once in a while, you know, he kind of has tunnel vision sometimes, and so you have to just remind him with a quick little vibrate that, hey man, you need to pay attention to me. But other than that, I use strictly voice commands. I don't really like using this e-collar if I don't have to, but in a certain scenario where he just has tunnel vision after something, it's really good to be able to kind of rein him in without him just, you know, bearing down on a black buck or something like that. Because if you heard a black buck or you heard a white tail, you know, we're losing money at that point. Yep. Here. Here. Like I mentioned, I'm filming this on Christmas Eve. I'll probably post it on the 26th. So in that case, I hope everybody had a very, very Merry Christmas. Now I really got to pay attention on this side of the ranch because this is where we have notoriously had coyotes and dogs come through. They dig under the, the hog wire that's, like we've got hog wire that's probably two feet under the ground right here, but they will absolutely dig underneath it and come into this ranch. So we've had some black buck and we've had a fallow go down because of wild dogs. So this is a side I really got to pay attention to. Bo, here. Here. You got a sticker? Bo, here. Here, here. Sit down. Sit. Come here. Oh, yeah, you got one in there deep. Hold on. Hold on. Almost got it. All right. Whoo. Whoa. Nothing down on that side. We've got to cross the river over the bridge, kind of finish up that line, and then we got to go down the main part of the ranch, and then we'll be back home. Now we got to cross the bridge to get to the other side. I'll be interested to see. I'll be interested to see if Bo wants to come across the bridge with us or go through the water. Hey, get out of there. Well. well, unfortunately, this is exactly why exactly why we do this. Um, we've got a mature black buck that's down. Looks like he's been dead for a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to show you all on camera because I don't think I can really do that on YouTube, but that's kind of a bummer. The horse was starting to act a little spooky when we started to get around here. Bo was kind of sniffing around over here and I couldn't figure out what he was into, but um, he was just smelling this dead black buck, which is unfortunate. I don't really know why he died. I'm gonna have to do some investigative work here a little bit later, but that's kind of why we do this. Check the fences, check the animals, and unfortunately we've got a good mature black buck down. Hopefully it was just old age. Um, some of these black buck are a little bit older, but that's a shame. Making our way back to the house. Everything looked good other than that one black buck. 
very good morning beautiful way to start out Christmas Eve and uh, like I said I hope you guys have a very very Merry Christmas <laughs>